For years, they have dominated at countless Comic Cons. Now they are committed to bringing the experience back in a whole new way. There's only one place to get your comics and collectibles and chat live with the two greatest showmen in modern comics. Join us for another exciting episode of Kicking It with Honor and Kevin, the live shopping show. Victory Seekers, you're watching Kicking It with Honor and Kevin. I'm your host, Honor Copen, and with me as always is Mr. Awesome himself, Kevin Hines. Kevin, how you doing, sir? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. I uh, can't wait to talk to you about the stuff we got going on. Awesome, Kevin. Yeah. Well, uh, hold on. I know we got kind of like a weird situation going here with my with my screen here, but I think you're going to be taking it off. I'm giving uh, I'm giving people a little bit of a sneak peek of what uh, we got up here tonight, but we got some great deals. And uh, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna sell a lot of stuff right now. How are you feeling, man? Hey, man, I feel great about this. I know I got people out there burning cash in their pockets right now, and they're ready to get some good material. Absolutely. And a couple things I wanted to say, Kevin. You know, right now we're seeing a, a bit of a spike with coronavirus cases, and things are getting kind of scary. And uh, I just wanted to take a moment to thank every first responder out there that's uh, putting their lives on the line. We appreciate it very much. When this all first started, I felt so helpless because there was really nothing I could do on my end. Mm -hmm. But now that we're doing this show, now that we're kicking it together, I think it's so cool that, like, you know, in a lot of ways, we're able to provide some relief for our first responders. And I think our job is really important. So I think it's really cool because we're going to be going out there over the next few weeks and um, getting comics at really, really cheap prices and getting them to you guys because we really want you guys to be able to get through this period. This is a really difficult time we're going through. And uh, both Kevin and I are very, very committed to getting you guys the best comics we can get our hands on for the best deals. And this is stuff that we want uh, to sell because we care about these books, not just because we want to make money. We're, you know, we're not just doing this for the money. We're doing this because we really care about you guys and we really want to get some good comics in your hands, especially for right you keep this industry going. Absolutely. And, you know, I've had some really good conversations with uh, a lot of the dealers that um, are on and off CBSN. And, you know, it's like everybody has that same attitude of we want to see and nobody wants to see this industry fail. We want to see this industry grow. We want to see everybody succeed. Kevin and I are both um, determined to carry as much stuff as we can possibly get our hands on. And we're going to be we're going to be doing a lot of experimenting. But another cool thing we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is we're going to be heading out to L.A. Uh, and we're going out there yeah, right. to access our like premium inventory. Oh, Cali, back back to Cali, Cali. Yep, we're going there to grab some really great stuff, um, and we're going to be sending it back to both Chicago and Maryland, which is where we're going to be operating from for the time being. And, and we might we also back. look into acquiring some other stuff out there. What's that, Kevin? Back, when we get back, we're going to have a big surprise for you guys. Oh, dude. They have no idea yet. The stuff Kevin and I have been talking about, folks, I'm just telling you guys, you're in for a treat. In coming months, you guys are going to see HK Collectibles doing kind of the kinds of things that uh, are going to make you guys just – it's going to put a smile on your face. Absolutely. All right, Kevin, I'm, I'm going to kick it off to you. You you you, uh, you take it away, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang back here and and see who's commenting. We got Mike in the house saying hi, Mike. Good to see you. We got Josh. What's up, What's up brother? Joshua, welcome. What up? Yeah, jo Josh is a new guy. Good to see you, brother. We got Trish. Trish, good to see you, my Trish. dear. Speaking of buying toilet paper, I've been going crazy for it again today. And bottled water, it was bad today. I'm really sorry to hear that. Why wow. um, are you having some uh, hard time scavenging some good stuff? Oh, okay. She said, hey, everyone, sorry, wrong chat. I'm with the people now. Well, you know what? Thank you for sharing the, uh, you know, that information <laughs> for us. We appreciate it. Hopefully you got something uh, that, you know, some way to cover those, uh, those vitals for you. Kevin, kick it off for us. What you got there? All right, guys, I'm going to kick it off with some Batman, but this isn't just any Batman, okay? This is Judge, Dread, and Batman. So this is Judgment on Gotham. 
this is a beautiful book. This is a bound book. This isn't um, this isn't stapled or anything folded that way. Uh, I guess you call it stitch something. Stitch something. It's saddle stitch. Yeah. Saddle stitch. This is not saddle stitch. It's bound. Uh, it's a beautiful book. Right now, I got this book going for just six dollars. Six dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it open real quick. Let you see some of the art. Let you see exactly what you're getting. Okay, look at that. That is a gorgeous book. And it's a Judge Dredd and Batman. So, I mean, can you get better than that? If you guys like Judge Dredd like I do, I know Henry does. It was awesome. Yeah, dude, that, that Netflix movie is the bomb. And this artwork is insane. Kevin, who did the artwork on that? Uh, let me check. I'm not positive. We got oh, Alan Grant, John Wagner, and Simon Bisley. So we got uh, uh, Wagner be the artist, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. So six dollars on this. Call it as you see it, folks. We got Batman kicking it off tonight. Here we go, Judge Dredd. Call it as you see it, folks. Call it as you see it. Six dollars on that book. That's like a one-shot trade, guys. Um, Batman, this Judge Dredd. Brand new. I'm. I'm telling you right now. I'm not making any money off this. Wow. Really. We're giving it away, man. Because we're crazy boys. We're hunt. We're killer. We're everything. <laughs> that's for dang sure i'm gonna bring it to you hard now check this out spawn 300 look at that guys he's throwing heat he's throwing heat spawn 300 not 299 not 298 this is 300 right here folks 300 300 what oh, you got that going for kevin i got this book right now before i get it graded I got this book going for one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars for this awesome variant, guys. And if, I'm sending it to get graded, if I'm sending it to get graded, I'm expecting no less than the nine point eight, nine point six. Absolutely, especially considering the fact that Kevin is going to have that book pressed because that's what Hunter Killer does. You're going to have Mister Awesome himself uh, pressing your books for you pretty soon, guys, because that's the service we offer. I'm set up. I'm ready to go. You can't see my head, but you don't need my head to press something. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. We, uh, we, need, we just need your head for impressions. Impressions, like impressions. That's it. That's all we need your head for. Keep going, brother. What else you got up there? All right, check it out. I'm going to introduce the Wolverine issue number forty-three. Uh, Dark Shadows. This is a cool cover. I love this cover. Inside this book is great, Henri. I know you've read this book. Oh yeah, dude. This is this is a that's a that's a solid cover. I think that's Eric Larson on uh yeah. the artwork. Yeah, and it's uh it's a just a gorgeous book. I got this book right here going for two bucks. Two, two bucks. bucks. Marvel two Comics bucks. presents, guys. This is some yeah. really fun stuff. A lot of people just, three. Oh, this is great. So many great Wolverine stories in here, and just overall lots of lots of fun stuff. And for two bucks, that's that's a steal. Oh, they're fantastic, and not one of my favorite characters, not my favorite, but one of them, Punisher. This is Punisher and Kingpin rules. This is an awesome cover. A lot of people look for this cover. It's pretty iconic. This is uh, number 14. This book right here is going for $3. Call it as you see it, folks. Call it as you see it. I'm giving away comics tonight. You're not going to understand the deals I'm hanging because they're just out of control. Out of control! He's out of control. Do you guys see this? If there's anybody who has never been in control before, you are looking at them right now. This is insane. All right, Henri, I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to kick it back over to you. And, no problem, uh, brother. So that, that'll make four. All right, so uh, this is another one. Everybody knows who this guy is. Hercules! 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 Hey guys, this is a number one Hercules. Check out this cover. That's awesome. Prince of Power. That's a number one, Kevin. How much are you doing that for? I'm doing this one for five bucks. Five dollars? That's I'm it? Giving it away. Giving it away. I want people to have a great Christmas. Giving it away. You're just literally throwing fire tonight, man. I you know what? I decided to come hard. I got my jacket on. I'm feeling good. My daughter had a great Halloween. She got a boatload of candy, which means I got a boatload of candy. Um, 
And uh, I just wanted to, you know, spit some of this stuff that I think you guys want in your homes and your collections. Excellent. Well, Kevin, I'm going to take it from here. Yeah. Well done, my friend. Well done. All right, guys, before I kick it off with anything, I'm, I'm shocked right now because we got a copy of The Last Ronin on auction right now. It's at $30, and we're going to announce the winner on tonight's show. We need to get more of you guys coming on and, and making a bid on this because this is a clean copy of the book. I'm telling you guys, this is totally, if you send this off to CGC or CB, uh, CS, this is this is going to go at a, a 9.8 easy all day. And this is a beautiful looking book, guys. And I don't know if you've had a chance to read it. I really hope no one spoiled it for you because this book is totally worth reading before you send it off to get graded. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. I'm on board for the whole series. Last Ronin, last Ronin, last chance for last Ronin. And we're at 30. Cold that bit is, you see, guys, 30 bucks, all right? We just auctioned off another one earlier this week at $35. This is your chance to get the book. This is hot off of the press, guys. That's right, hot guys. The and the surprise is real. At the end of the story or in the middle of the story, you find out who the last Ronin is. I guarantee you it's not who you picked. Oh, totally. No one will ever guess it. No one will ever guess it. I was I, My reaction at first was like, huh, well, I kind of saw that. But, you know, I just, you know, it's it, it's such a good. But it's, it's a good read for more, than, more reasons than just that. It's not just about the reveal of who the last Ronin is. If that was all it was, then like I wouldn't care at all. When I, I first bought this book, I'll be honest, I just went, I skipped to the end and I was like, okay, it's, you know, who it is. But then afterwards, I, I was compelled to go back and read it. And when I went back and read it, I really enjoyed the presentation of this. I love how this book is bound, I love how it's presented. This is solid stuff here, guys. 30 bucks is the current bid. All you got to do is. Up it by one dollar, thirty-one dollars. You're the highest. Bid. It's hard to find thirty dollars right now for the auction. When do we end that tonight? Tonight. Oh, tonight. Guys, you it's got a beautiful time. night to end it tonight. You got less than two hours left, guys. You got to get to it. You got to get to it quick. You guys got to jump on this thing. You got to jump like spiders or or some other predatory hey, animal. You, know, you got to get that. You can't be a turtle. And get last run in number one. You will lose. Slow and steady does not beat this race. It's not how you win this race. You win this race by placing your bid on this bad boy right here. And of course, I'm just joking with you guys. But hey, we're this is the live shopping show, and we're having a good time. Am I right, Kevin? That's right. We gotta give you guys energy. Sometimes we get a little carried away, sometimes we're a little soft. All, All right, right. Well, I'm gonna kick it off, Kevin, with something that I think is really cool. And I showed this off last week, but I'm going to show it again because I think this book is awesome and it belongs in everybody's collection. Check this out. Hey, Kevin, what's the one book that's been blowing up on the Internet that we've been talking about lately that we've been trying to get our hands on? All the Venom stuff, all the Secret War stuff. Absolutely. Amazing Spider-Man number 300. In fact, if you guys watched our last episode, we actually sold a set of uh, Secret Wars 1 through 12 for $500. As a matter of fact, we sold two of them. So here's the deal, guys. We got Web of Spider-Man number one right here. Oh. Okay? Right here. This is a very clean copy. And Web of Spider-Man number one, it's not a mainstream Spider-Man title, but something major happens in this issue. Okay, check out this cover by Charles Vess. Very beautiful stuff. Here's what happens in this uh, issue. This is where Spider-Man loses the black symbiote. This is where he ditches that costume. And um, it's when he gets into the church and, you know, you see the, the bells ringing and the symbiote, you know, we, we discovered that the symbiote is uh, uh, sensitive to sound and it separates itself from Spider-Man. And this is a key issue right here. This is an important issue right here. And to be honest with you, it's a great series. Web of Spider-Man was phenomenal and it actually does work its way into the mainstream titles. It is a mainstream Spider-Man title. What are you doing um, that for? Uh, what are we doing that for? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five bucks. You get this bad boy right here. This is a clean copy, Kevin. This is this has no damage done to it. Now, as our press guy, 
you tell me, does this even need to go to press before we go to uh, it, it goes off the CGC if you decide to get it graded? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if there's no major creases and no major impressions in it, and uh, as long as the pages are still holding their color, I think we're fine. I think they are. I mean, like, look. Well, I mean, they they kind of are. Well, that's expected. A little yellowing is expected. Can pressing fix that? No, it cannot. But what, what happens with the yellowing is uh, it's like something's happening to the paper. And, Interesting. Uh, um, what you do is you can't really restore that. That yellowing is going to be there forever. But what you can do is you can flatten out those pages because during that yellowing, they start to kind of expand a little bit. A comic book will get thicker. It'll absorb air, uh, moisture in the air, the pages. So uh, you also have that to incorporate. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, informing us of this because this is uh, this is important stuff to know. And guys, Kevin is our press expert, and he is ready to press your comments for you. All you got to do is just message us and let us know. And we you can send your books right to him in uh, Baltimore. He will press your books for you. He will do a very good job. He's actually working on a tutorial video right now to show you our process. And uh, as soon as Kevin is done with that, you guys are going to see what we have to offer you. And that's just one of many services that uh, Hunter Killer is willing to offer. Um, we want to we want to get as many comics out there as we can. We, we want to put as many smiles on as many people's faces as we can too. So that being said, Absolutely. Web of Spider Man number Uno. Going for $24. Call it as you see it. And here's what's cool about it. I got four copies of this, and they're all clean, just like this one. I don't think I've ever had my hands on a clean copy of this book, in all honesty. Because when I was a kid, I was just thinking about what, something Kevin said in the last episode of uh, uh, us doing the show together on Wednesday night, was that when people used to read comics, they'd just fold them up and put them in their back pockets. And that created uh, this curl in um the uh in the actual binding and you know he was explaining the pressing sir uh, the pressing process and how it actually rolls the binding back into place and um it's it's really kind of cool you know just going back and listening to what kevin is saying because he's learned a lot about this and a lot of this stuff is just basic physics and just being careful with stuff and kevin being a carpenter being someone who's always using his hands he, he knows what he's doing. I've never seen somebody with more steady hands before. And not only that, someone who knows how to operate machinery. And if there's something he doesn't know, he learns it very quickly and will become an expert on it like within two seconds. But pressing is a pretty uh, simple process, but it's also a very delicate process. And you need somebody who knows what the heck they're doing when they're operating it. And there's nobody I trust more than Kevin Hines. In fact, for my own personal collection, the stuff that I'm not selling here, um, Kevin, if I ever decide to get any of it slapped, it's going to Kevin first. I ain't sending it anywhere else. I'm certainly not letting CGC um, uh, press anything for me. Uh, Kevin and I, we bought Avenging Spider-Man number nine, and it took 12 weeks for them to press it and grade it for us. And we don't even know if it's pressed or not because, like, it's slabbed. Slab. But, you know, like, it's slabbed. It's stuck in plastic now. We can't crack that open and feel if it's actually been pressed or not. So... Just letting you guys know, and if there's anything you buy from us tonight, if you want to add that service on, you just let us know and we'll take care of it. Kevin will be in touch with you directly, and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can and give you those updates on what's going on. I absolutely will. All right, so I'm going to do a couple more, Kevin, and I'm kicking it back to you, yeah. brother. Two more, Henry, to hit me up. All right, now check this out, Kevin. People are going to be really sorry if they don't take me up on this deal. What is because, it? <laughs> I'll show you the covers and you'll know what I'm talking about. But don't say anything because these people can't know yet. Oh, Our fans yeah. can't know yet. Yeah, yeah. They can't know what we got in mind for these books. They have no idea. They have absolutely no idea what we got planned for these books right here. Okay. So I'm not telling you that, but I am going to tell you this. These are Tom King's final issues on Batman. Okay. I have issues 83, 84, 85. They are going for a grand total of, let's check the prices here. What is this? Tom, Tom King, guys. And if you're not reading his uh, Rorschach right now or Strange Adventures, you are totally missing out. Okay. So this is great. 4-4. Four, four. 
Fourteen dollars. Not even fifteen dollars. Fourteen dollars on these three comics right here. I only got two sets here, guys. Call it as you see it. Batman 83, 84, 85. This is the final parts of City of Bane, which is a massive arc that concludes Tom King's arc on Batman. Now I want to say a couple things about that. Because Tom is somebody I have a tremendous amount of respect for. We both got our start in comics at around the same time. It was back in 2012. I was at San Diego Comic-Con, and I see this sharp-dressed man walking up to me. And uh, I, I, he was asking me for directions. But I pitched him Yisun Shin, and he was kind enough to pick it up for me. And he bought a set. And we were talking afterwards, and he said, I'm here promoting my book. It's called The Once Crowded Sky. And I didn't think that would be the moment that would uh, see him just skyrocket and like become DC's top writer in, in, in the company. Um, well, you know, one of their top writers, certainly, you know, uh, top three at this yeah, point. And, and the stuff he's doing right now is really great. You know, you can, you can complain about it. You can say, well, it's not this, it's not that. You know what I really love? He just went on Twitter today. And I don't know if you guys read Rorschach number one, which we have on sale right here too. This is the variant that was done by Jay Lee. This actually takes place in the same timeline as the HBO Watchmen show, which was fantastic. This issue is phenomenal. I cannot wait for number two to come out. And it's so good. Such good stuff. Now, here's the thing. Tom King wanted to write 100 issues of Batman. He got to 85. But not only did he get to 85, he now gets his own Batman spinoff, just like Todd McFarlane got his own Spider-Man comic. And what's it called? Batman Catwoman. He is finishing up the story that he intended to do. Now, a lot of people gave Tom a hard time. And, you know, I think they made a mistake for doing that because it's always hard to be the king. You know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And I got a lot of respect for Tom King. I got two sets of these bad boys. $14. Call it as you see it. Call it as you see it, folks. Guys, with what we have in store for those books, the, that set is going to be worth over 100 bucks. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got no idea on those books, and I got two sets of them left. But it's cool. It's cool. You can pick All them right. up right now, $14. All right. Next thing I want to tell you guys about, and then I'm going to kick it back to Kevin because I've had too much screen time here. No, um, no. Is this Morbius book right here. Ooh, that's a hot one right now. Oh, you yeah, dude. Morbius. Kevin, check out this cover right here. Yeah, that's sick. Dude's creepy. That is a sexy cover. I just want to make love to this. It's a fantastic sure. cover. And the artwork is sick, too. This is awesome stuff. This yeah, is awesome. uh, done by a creative team I'm not very familiar with. But, guys, I'm telling you, I got these books from Challengers. And what I've started to do, I haven't had a lot of time because we're still in this process of fulfilling it, um, orders, um, and acquiring new inventory and making plans for the future. Uh, if, if I haven't mentioned it already, Kevin and I are headed to LA very soon because we're going to get like more inventory and like we're going to, you know, we're basically strategizing for, you know, for a strong 2021. But I can just tell you, I pulled this out because this is a cool looking cover and I will read this book. I will tell you right now, if you guys don't buy it right now, I'm going to read it. Um, and oh, it's going for just four bucks. Four bucks, folks. And these are brand new comics, guys. This is straight from the uh, straight hot off the press. This is from Challengers Comics and Conversation in Chicago. Just call it as you see it. Four dollars. I got three copies of this Morbius right here. I'm telling you, if it doesn't go, I will be shocked because I could see this book going for ten bucks not in in the not too distant future. This is not a book that's going to end up in a dollar pile. I guarantee you. No doubt. No doubt. Now, now with a cover like that. Some books you could say that about, not that one. All right, Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you, brother, because I, 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 I've, I've had enough time. You, you go for it now. Go ahead, kick it back to me, man. I got a yes, couple. Sir. I got a, I got a few oh, we got things. someone. Uh, Josh was asking, what's the uh, tale of suspense? Uh, I'll just uh, let me get that real quick. Sure. Uh, Joseph yeah, saying, hey, what's up? Katie's in the house. What's up? Good what's to up? See everybody here. What up, Katie? What's what up, girl? All right. He's one of our main men that uh, always spends money with us. We really appreciate it. You pick up great material. We like your style. We like your content. Absolutely. All right. Real quick. Last thing. 
we got uh since uh joseph asked about or not joseph i'm sorry uh joshua asked about this sorry joshua <laughs> i got tales of suspense number 80 um this is iron man and captain america this Beautiful. is captain america doing a cosmic cube thing this is uh, a pretty cool issue it is done by stan lee and gene cohen and there's some cool submariner action in here um gene cohen's a phenomenal artist and this is a pretty clean copy of the book. I would say it's probably going to be around a 6.57. And what are we doing this for? We're doing this for $35. Just call it as you see it. $35 right now. And I'll tell you what. You throw in another $5, Andre can send it to me and I'll press it for you. Just right there now. There you go. Right now. There you go. Guys, that's a $1,000 service. $1. And regularly through CGC, you're going to be paying 20 bucks or more. You get it pressed. For only five dollars more, forty dollars total, and we'll uh, and plus Just shipping of course. Value, folks, five bucks. Yep. Call it as you see it. Call it as you see it. <laughs> All right, Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you now, brother. Yeah, go ahead, kick it back to me, man. I'm ready. All right. Oh, so no, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. There we go. No, there we go. That's good. All right. So check this out. This is Man Bat. All right. This is a DC comic. This is uh, this is some medieval stuff with Batman, all right? So I got three books right here. Look at this artwork. Look at this beautiful. Look at these beautiful covers. It's just some creepy dark night stuff, you know. That looks like Sam Keith artwork. I'm not positive on who's on it. All I know is that uh, this is some desirable stuff. I've been trying to locate it. I haven't really read it yet because I just got it in and I'm presenting it to you guys now. Um, as you can see, I still have price tags on it, right? So I'm actually going to honor these price tags that I have here. Uh, and I'm only going to do that today. Today I'm getting crazy. Like I told you earlier, I'm getting crazy. All right. So you guys can't see his face. Kevin, get down. Let them see your face. Let them see just how crazy I'm you are. I'm Look crazy. Look how crazy he is. Look at those eyes. They're just popping out. All right. Sorry. Go for it. <laughs> Five comics for him. The guy's Man Bat. I got three issues of Man Bat. I got all these issues, all three of them going for just $10 right now. Call it as you see it. Man Bat, I'm going to put it back on my rack. If you want it, let me know. I'll take it right off immediately. Thank you very much. I'm going to get back to something else. Now, this is something I've been excited to talk about because I like to talk about trades. Trades are fun. And, uh, you know, we got $5 and $10 trades all day long. Okay. So this is Guardians of the Galaxy. This book is awesome. Everyone knows what this is. Guardians of the Galaxy. I got this book right now going for five bucks. Five dollars! That's insane! Five dollars for a trade! Five bucks for a trade. Steve McNiven. Who else is on there? Is that Bendis who wrote that? Mm-hmm. Bendis. You can't go wrong with this book Bendis, for five dollars. Bendis, McNiven, You know, my kid is watching the Guardians of the Galaxy TV show right now. He's loving it. Guardians of the Galaxy, guys. Cosmic Adventures. Five bucks. Trade. This is a thick book. This is a nice bind. Five bucks. So, Joe McAfee is here. He's saying, wonder if a call is, as you see a t-shirt is in order for the show. Not as of yet, but possibly in the future. That's Kitsune, not a terrible Kitsune, idea. Good to see you all. Good to see you, Kitsune. Kitsune, what's up? Joshua's laughing. There's nothing funny about this show, Joshua. We're I'm giving you crazy bills. Making it insane. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> stop know. laughing. Darn you. <laughs> that, that reminds me of Roger Rabbit. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, that's what I was saying. happened last time when you can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> guys i got a great book right here this is called world of wakanda black panther this is a roxanne gay ta nahisi 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 coats yeah Afua richardson worked on this she's my friend guys she signed this book afua is the bomb um if you watch lovecraft country she has worked on that show uh kevin i actually know the price on that book Tell me. $25. $25, guys. But I'm going to let you price it at whatever you think it's worth. 
Well, I was going to price it at $19.99 just because I wanted to be fancy, but $20, bucks, right round it off, right at call it as you see it. We're losing money when we sell this book to you guys. World of Wakanda. You can't get this just anywhere. You can only get it with us. Right here, right now. Right this moment. Right here, right now. You pull back up? This is a Batman day for me. I'm doing a lot of Batman stuff. This is Batman. This is War Games. This is a trade. Very thick. Okay, this is over 100 pages. Uh, it's got a great bind. The artwork inside here is absolutely incredible. It's old school. Um, the panels are pretty, pretty new style. But the artwork was done with an old feel. Beautiful book. Five bucks, folks. War Games, five dollars trade. Five dollars over a hundred pages. That's insane. five dollars. Call it as you see it. Batman War Games. Get it. Get it. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Don't I'm gonna do one more. She do one more. She's a great, great artist and a great, great person. Oh, absolutely. No doubt. I've met her personally myself. Uh, check this out. This is a great one. This is one I like. This is One Earth. This is by Geoff Johns and Gary Frank. Now, this book is amazing as far as how it's put together. Uh, no, no expense was spared in regards to uh, quality here. It's got a great semi-sheen cover. So the bottom uh, of the rose of the uh, cemetery right here, you see all the roses and flowers peeking up. That's all shiny. The, the silhouettes of the people right here and the umbrella are shiny. And then you got Batman in the background, which is more of a matte finish. Also, in here, you got some of the most incredible artwork I've ever seen. You can't pass, possibly go wrong with Gary Frank's artwork ever. Especially at, the book. Look at, look at the and the realism. Yeah, this is a this is a phenomenal retelling of uh, Batman's yep. uh, origin. Yeah, this is a great book right now. This book normally goes for in the store $25. I'm doing it right now for $12, folks. Call it as you see it. Earth One, Batman, incredible book, well put together, great for your collection, and you can present it on your desk. Your wholesale. Office. Kevin is wholesaling that. He is like Costco. Yes. Look at him, folks. Yeah. He's a giant. Doing it big. Doing it big. Doing it big. Rolling like a big shot. <laughs> Are you ready to kick it back to me, brother? I Yeah, sure. I can kick it back to you if you want to talk about some stuff. All right, cool, man. Rock and roll. Uh, well, unless you have one more. You want to do one more? Nah, you're going to take it away, brother. All right, all right, cool. All right. I just want to make sure, you know, because uh, you're doing such a great job of uh, telling everybody what we got here. All right, guys. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right. So what else I got up here? I got this book right here that I've been reading for a little bit. Um, I just read this issue, and it is really phenomenal. <laughs> the twist in this issue is really, really good. Where it starts and where it ends up is not something you're going to be able to predict. Um, to be honest with you, it I found it really inspiring for some of the things I plan to do with uh, War Lion. I really love just how um, it misdirects you in so many ways. And this is Doom 2099. It's a new story, and it What's seems to there? be tying into a bunch of other 2099 books. There's a oh, Spider-Man wow. one, there's a Fantastic Four, and a Ghost Rider. And these are all issue ones. Um and uh, they seem to, like, be kicking off this big, huge event um, called 2099 right here. So it all kind of, like, leads up to, to everything. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about all these books. But I'm really excited about this. I really want to see if I can get one of you guys to pick this up, at least one of you guys, because I got, like, 10 copies of this issue one. And it's only going for $4.99. That that but I'll tell you what. I want you guys to read this book so bad that I'll knock a dollar off the cover price. Four bucks for this book right here. This is Doom 2099. Really fantastic artwork. There's some really cool sequences here. This is a very different look at the at the world of 2099. 
So it's not like the same thing as uh, what we see, uh, what we expect normally from that world where it's like kind of like very neo techno type of thing. This is a much more run down, like deserted uh, 2099 than we're used to, as you can see in this, in this uh, page right here. And some really nice stuff. Wow. And I like the artwork too. The artwork is, is really interesting. The build up here is really great. It's like Doom finds himself out in the middle of the desert and like he's lost all his technology. And um, while he's like trying to like figure out what to do, he's got to like rebuild his armor and everything. Um, he's he's like got these stragglers who are like, um, you know, just kind of like hanging out with him. And you don't know why. And um, when you find out, it's it's really messed up. I'm telling you guys, this is just a good book. It is straight up. All right, Joshua, give me a set of Easton Shin. No problem, man. We'll get to Easton Shin in a bit, though, because I want to I want to let you know all the options you got for that. Um, but let me see what. Uh... All right, he's feeling it. Feed it. Feel it getting glitchy. Feed is getting glitchy. I'm sorry about that, Kevin. Am I glitchy? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, you're getting glitchy. And I was uh, trying to stop you a couple of times when you were pitching that last book because I wanted to know if that cover was watercolor or not. Oh, um, no, it's not. Okay. It just, I only got a glance at it because you were glitchy and it looked kind of blurry, so I thought it was. Oh, okay. No, no. This is definitely not uh, watercolored. It is kind of pastel based, um, but. Uh, it's, it's really cool stuff. And when he builds his technology, by the way, when he rebuilds his costume, he, like, flies to this, like, sky city. And it's it's a really good book. I wouldn't just push this for no reason. This is only going for five, uh, $5 normally. That's the cover price. $4 tonight and only tonight. Guys, I'm telling you, if you don't jump on this, this might be the last time you see this book. It's a brand new book that they're just, we're discounting a dollar, guys. Brand new book. We're discounting a dollar straight from the dealers. We are dealers. This is where we get it from. We're, we're That's right. allowed to do that. That's right. Okay. Another thing we got here. We got Bang Bang Bang. Right, Spider Man 2099, number one. I'm just going to, this is going to be my 2099 pitch. So this is also part of that same storyline. But it's seen from Spider-Man 2099's perspective. This is not what you expect it to be, guys. This is really kind of like a scary book. And um, it's kind of like uh, an omen for what is going to happen in this universe. And the artwork is fantastic. There seems to be a lot going on with, like, the Thorites and or 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 Oboros, um, which I think ties to the Venom storyline. Um, but it is really, really fantastic stuff here. And again, a dollar off the cover price, four bucks on that boy. Then I got. Are you talking about that Ronin again? Hang on. Oh, that Ronin? That Ronin that's going for $30 right now that we're auctioning off that we're going to announce the winner for on tonight's show? That yeah, I'll cool. talk about this. This is a great book and it should be in your collection. Place your bid. This is going away. This is our last copy. We will not have another last Ronin um, up for sale on the show. Call it as you see it. That's right. right. These Ronins are going quickly. And uh, yep. we do happen to have several copies, but this is the last one we're going to sell. Yep. And, and I'll tell you guys, the reason why this book is hot, another reason why this book is hot, why I won't shut up about it, when uh, IDW went to the printer with this, they didn't. Uh, they went there before they fulfilled their retail orders, so they actually ended up with far less books than they needed. So this is pretty crazy. And it's the first place your bid. Place your bid. We got ship in the house, dude. Ship, what up, dog? What's he saying? Still no notification. Scratching my head. Sorry, dude. I. I don't know. We're still figuring this out, but we'll we'll get there. I promise you. All right. Um, so I talked about Spider-Man 2099, how that was like kind of like more of like a 
a scary book. And then we got this uh, Fantastic Four 2099. This also goes into that same uh, storyline. Um, I mean, this one takes place in a more, you know, defined 2099, like we, what we would expect. And the artwork is pretty good here, too. I like it. Terrific. Four bucks on this, guys. Nice. And then we got the Ghost Rider 2099. I really, Kevin, what do you think of this cover here? Tell me that's not a tight cover. Dude, I love Ghost Rider 2099. Everything. They're amazing. I've got, go, I've got a Ghost Rider, and I've got a Spider Man 29 up here with Ghost Rider. This is a number one. This is all tying into a major event, and I'm leading up to something here. I'm going to get you guys here. So this is the Omega, the 2099. Okay. And uh, this, all the, all the first issues lead up to this, right? So this is also going for a dollar off the cover price. As a matter of fact, here's my bundle for you guys. And I got a few of these that I can make happen for you. You got Spider-Man, Doom, Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider, and uh, this 2099 book. This gives you a sense of what's going on right now in the 2099 universe. It kicks off everything. Great place to start. Makes a great early holiday gift, either for you or a loved one. Great place to start for a new collector, too. You get five comics for 20 bucks. That's a steal. Five comics for $20. Call it as you see it. We got plenty of these in stock. Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you, brother. Go ahead and kick it back to me, man. I got something to tell them about. Check this out. Guys, I got an awesome book that I'm getting ready to present to you. This is called Darkness Batman. Look at this. This is pretty dope. Okay. Lo Lobadol. Silver. Silver T. Finch. Silvestri. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's okay. It's, hard. it's probably hard to read from behind. It is hard to read from behind, but this is a beautiful book. Awesome cover. Look at these characters. Look at that. It's amazing. It's the number one Darkness Batman. I'm going to open it up for you so you can see the quality of artwork that's inside this book. It's in very, very, very good condition. I would. It's high in the nines right now. Look at that. This is one. beautiful. I was checking this book out earlier. I didn't get a chance to read it, but I was checking out the artwork inside of it because that's what I love. I love artwork. Everyone can, a lot of people can write stuff. It takes a, a real person to write a good story. So if, if I feel like it's going to be a good artwork, it's going to have a good story with it. This is a beautiful book. This is a number one, Darkness Batman. Right now, guys, I got this book going for $4. Darkness, Batman. This is a beautiful book. This is in the high nines as far as its quality. I love it. It's going to be great for your collection. Four dollars. Four dollars, guys. Call Four dollars, and that's it. Mr. E. Kevin, hi. Good to see you. What's up? Um, guys, I'm going to catch up on this here. Kevin, check out what Joe McAfee said. He said, waiting to see if we have something he's looking for. He wants to be the first one worthy to wear a T-shirt that says, I called it as I saw it on the front with the Hunter Killer lo Collectibles logo on the back. Joe, I love it. Yeah, really You're an genius. I love it. We will do that, for you, brother. We will make that happen. Challenge accepted. I That's love that. That is awesome. That is fantastic. And, guys, I got to tell you, Joe McAfee, this gentleman right here, he's a comics creator. He's from Chicago as well. I know him. He's got a great book out. Um, uh, the title of the book is failing me right now, but I have picked it up before. He's a great, great guy. Very ambitious creator. He's been at this a long, long time. Joe, it's good to see you. Thank you for tuning in tonight, my brother. All right, what else you got? All right, check it out. I got four books right here. These are from the uh, 100 series, Dark Horse. I got four books, all these books right here. 
beautiful artwork. I got this. This is a steal, okay, guys? I got four books going for $4. You see this? Call it as you see it. The 100 Series Dark Horse. Four books, $4. Guys, this is the prequel to 300. That's it's absolutely 100. Cool. And it can only be followed up with 200 and then 300. I'm getting crazy. Put out that same publisher. I'm, getting I'm getting crazy. Out. I'm trying to push inventory. Inhumans Prime, number one. Check that out. This is a badass book, okay, guys? I got this book going for $3. This is number one. This is only tonight. My special prices are tonight and tonight alone. Next time, it will be up to $5. Kevin, can you right. crack open that book so we can see it a little bit better? What, the Inhumans? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a cool yeah, yeah. book. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'll crack it open. I'll crack it open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the book, beautiful cover. It's in perfect condition as of right now. Um, and it will be if you purchase it and I ship it to you. But check out this artwork. We got Miss Marvel in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. It's a good book. Captain America. Call it as you see it, folks. Call it as you see it. We got you guys on this. On anything you're looking for tonight. Absolutely. This is a cool one. The Savage Speedster Flash. This one it gets together with none other than She-Hawk. What up? We'll Is that really the Hulk and Flash? Is that She Hulk? I mean, she's green. Charlie's saying he likes the jacket. Charlie, we like your money. Why don't you buy something from us, Charlie? <laughs> what up, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we know Charlie's a good friend of ours. Charlie, it's good to see you, brother. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We appreciate it, my friend. Thank yeah, you. What up, Chuck? Welcome, welcome. This is the show. This is the show. Check it out, guys. I got this flash right here. The book is going for just three dollars. See that price tag on there? I'm selling it for three dollars tonight, guys. So call it as you see it. We got these great deals going on, and I'm trying to push some inventory for you guys because I know you're bored sitting at home with that 14 day bull. <laughs> hey, guys. The only reason why Kevin can make that joke and get away with it is because he actually is a COVID survivor. Yes, he is. We're not joking. Kevin has has had it. I and have. He's that time to read to read a lot of comics and catch up on stuff, and it got him through it. I have. It uh, it was an experience. Definitely uh, affect my breathing and stuff. But who cares? Let's sell some comics, guys. Check this out. Spectacular Spider Man. See that, see that, that, was J, that was J.M. Uh, Demetrius's favorite issue of Spider-Man that he wrote because J, it was just a farce. Well, pronounce it J.M. Demetrius. Yeah, that's what I thought too. He said you can do it either way. Oh, okay. This book right here going for four bucks, four dollars. Spectacular Spider-Man. Come on, guys, hit us up. Let's kick it. Let's get some sales going. I know it's Sunday. Right before work tomorrow, you'll have something to read during lunch. Lunchtime! Get your comics, it's lunchtime! Well, I just went through about four or five books. I'm going to kick it back to Henri. Uh, I'm sure he's ready. He's got something to tell you, something that he's pretty uh, excited about. I do. I'm, I'm always ready, Kevin. I'm always ready. I am loving this. I'm having so much fun. Guys, I just want to let you know, I'm not even upset right now that we haven't sold anything yet, because I know we're going to move through this stuff at some point. I'm just happy to be here with you guys. I'm having such a good time. Kevin, how are you feeling? I feel freaking fantastic. There's no better way to spend a Sunday night than talking with you fine folks about comics. Thank you for all. Thank you guys for just tuning in. Thank you for letting us know how you're doing too. We are here. We are listening. We are engaging with you guys. And when you guys see something that you like, you'll call, call it. As you see it. We know it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Thank you for hanging out. All right. The fun's just getting started. It's Halloween yeah, still. Here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bust out this vengeance of Vampirella here. I got two copies of this. Ooh, We're nice. baking and shaking, baking and shaking, just like Josh was saying here. Um, has gone on every show every time we've had. This cover is pretty tight too. I really like it. I wonder who worked on this. 
uh, Thomas Singowski uh, and Michael St uh, Stay Maria. I, I can't pronounce these names. I apologize, but the artwork, guys, is really great in this book. <laughs> it is, is Marvin. What's his name, Marvin? <laughs> it's what? Do you remember Robin Hood Men in Tights? Yes. Do you remember when they're like at the altar and the guy's like, Mervin? Your name is Mervin? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mel Brooks movie, guys. Robin Hood Men in Tights. If you haven't seen it, you missed out. The King All of right. Comedy. He's the guy that could blend everyone together. Mel Brooks, Mel Brooks the King. Yeah, check it out, guys. You want to see some more work? Here's two advertisements. Sorry. I should have <laughs> <done. laughs> done that. I should have looked before showing you guys. And you could get razors for $2. You can get razors for two dollars, folks, but not here. You got to buy this comic in order to find out how to do it. <laughs> so this is a really cool. This is tight. Um, we're doing this. I got two copies of this book in stock right now. It is going for four bucks. Call it as you see it. I think this All is right, going. No copies left. The only two copies. Two, 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 one, two, one, two. All right, it's going back. Let's see what's going on in the comment section. Just want to see what's going on. Trish is saying she's happy to be here. Uh, what up, Trish? Both of you are good sports about your jib jabs that I made for you guys. Oh, of course. How could we not? Wow, those were hilarious. And Joe, I know all about those lunchtime comic runs. I used to make them myself when I had my, uh, my day job back in the day. I'd always be running over to Graham Crackers down on... Madison and uh, Michigan and grabbing my books. In fact, there was even a point when I first released Yi and Shin that I was running there every Wednesday to sell the book. And uh, be happy to tell you guys about that on uh, a different occasion. But we got to get some books out in your hands tonight. And uh, I want to tell you guys about this book right here. It does not get enough credit. He and I got lots there. of it in stock. This is Doomsday Clock. This is the final issue of that run. If you guys are missing this, now is the time to get it. I got the regular cover, and I also got a variant cover. I'm going to pull out the variant cover for you guys. And I think they're both going for the same price. Uh, so in this issue, something really cool happens. Dr. Manhattan and Superman, they face off in this book. They totally duke it out. It's pretty sick. Um, and... Uh, it, you know, it, it, it's hard to imagine how a fight between these two characters would, would go because they're both, like, infinitely powerful. And I would actually argue that Dr. Manhattan is, like, way more powerful than Superman. But um, this issue is much more um, philosophical than that because that's what kind of Watchmen's all about. But it's still a, a really steady buildup. Features artwork by Gary Frank, and I believe the story is done by Jeff Johns. Uh, these are the same guys who did the Batman Earth one that Kevin showed off earlier. And we are doing uh, this for, let's see, what is, we will do this. Guys, this is normally six bucks. These books are six bucks. This one in the variant. We're doing them tonight for five bucks a pop. Wow. Dollar, -ish, dollar off each issue? Dollar off each issue. I buy that for a dollar. I'm just like moving them around like, like nunchucks, you know? Wham, wham, wham. Five bucks on both these. Just call it as you see it, guys. See, we're having fun here. That's what we do. If you guys think that we're upset right now, you just don't understand how much fun we're having. All right? You remember RoboCop? Dude, is that RoboCop? I buy it. I buy that for $5. $5. What do you need $4 for? <laughs> All right, guys. Just because we love you so much, we're going to knock the price down to four ninety nine. dollars Call it as you see it. <laughs> all right what else we got up here they all come signed by nobody <laughs> <laughs> but they do belong in your collection they do belong in your collection um and you know i wouldn't have put these books up here if i didn't think that they were worth reading for you guys and even if i didn't read them myself i will straight up tell you some of these covers look really sick now i'm gonna jump back down all right i got a sick deal for you here Here's this book right here. It's called Samurai Legend. This is really cool stuff. Um, I actually read this book. Um, it's got, it's actually done, I believe, by French artists and writers, and it was like translated. But the artwork is really, really good in this. It's kind of like a 
mystical samurai story. It's published by Marvel's Max Line. It's a it's a mature content book. And we got two, four, six, eight. The whole run. This is my run for tonight. Two, four, six, eight for eight bucks. Call it as you see it. That's wow. four comics for just eight dollars. Four comics for eight dollars. Two bucks a pop. Call it as you see it. All right, hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Going on. What's up? We still have that auction going on. Yes, we do. We got that auction going on, and no one's making any bids right now. Where are we at on that? That is at thirty dollars. I think we're at like thirty dollars. I guess like 30, it is, Kevin. They're waiting. They're waiting for that last second. They're waiting for the last second. That's what it is. Everybody's just waiting for so. the last. I got to say, thirty bucks is going to get it for a steal. And we and we've done we've done auctions before, Kevin, on uh, Hulk one eighty on, on a few copies of Hulk one eighty one. Amazing Spider-Man 300 that we, we sold online. And that's what always happens. The auctions always get exciting at the end. And that's why we're just we're just building up. We're already ahead just because of that book tonight. I can't wait oh, yeah. to see who hands it ends up in. I can't wait. I cannot wait. All right. Uh, let's see what else I got up here. This is cool. I got this special midnight release edition version of... Detective Comics number 1000. This is a cover that is done by Jim Lee. It is really, really beautiful. I love his artwork. Um, and it's Detective Comics 1000. Who would have ever thought this book would see a thousand plus oh issues? God. We have special variants of this. Yes, we do, actually. Do you have any there available? Yeah, I do. I have all the versions, by the way, right now. I have, like, a huge stock of all the covers, but I just decided to whip this one out tonight. Yeah, guys, if you're familiar with uh, these, uh, Detective Comics 1000, Honor knows, and he's got them. Just message us, and we'll be more than happy to look at the inventory. See if yeah, he, and, and, guys, we've noticed this, too, a trend where we'll show stuff off during the show hours, and then, like, afterwards people will message us and be like, hey, do you still have this book in stock or whatever? And we got, we got it. I mean, like... I pulled like eight boxes from challengers. They're the ones who are sponsoring the collection that I'm presenting to you tonight on the rack. And it's going to be completely redressed on Wednesday. Um, actually tomorrow I'm going to acquire more books. And uh, this is for our personal collection, which is cool. So you're going to see completely new stuff. This rack is going to be redressed every single time. Kevin and I come up with themes. We come up with all kinds of fun ways to get you guys engaged so that every episode feels fresh, new, and exciting for you. And this is what we're doing right now on this variant cover right here. Patrick and Dell, they want 20 bucks on this bad boy, and I think it's totally worth it. This is an iconic book. You want to have it in your collection. This is not going to be uh, something that gets discounted anytime soon. Ever. 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 <laughs> He's such a jerk. <laughs> We're uh, we're just laughing about uh, an experience we had a long time ago, but uh, yeah, we we're just not uh, we're not going to talk about that. We don't talk smack on live TV about other people, so but it's just an inside joke, folks. We got heart attack here. This is uh, a a new uh, series that's put out by Image Skybound. It's going oh. for uh, four dollars normally. We'll do it today for three dollars. I got two copies of it in stock. Let's show you some of the artwork inside. In all honesty, I've not had a chance to read this book yet, but it does look exciting. And just call it as you see it. It's three dollars on this book tonight. Normally, this is a four dollar book. We're doing it tonight for just three dollars. Two. Who wants it? Only two. Woo! Woo! Utah. Give me two. All right, let's see. Okay, all right. Josh just keeps asking about Yi Sun Chin. Josh, I'm going to just straight up tell you, brother. I'm going to pitch Yi Sun Chin. I'm going to pitch everything I got here for my own stuff, and then I'm kicking it back to Kevin. All right, so Yi Sun Chin, guys, is my comic series. This is something I worked on alongside David Anthony Kraft, who has worked on uh, multiple comics uh, for Marvel and DC. When it came time to me to make my own comic, 
I needed someone to kind of guide me along the way to show me how to make a good comic because I didn't just want to put something out there. I'd already done that and I wasn't really happy with the results. I wanted to put out a really good comic. And um, I, I, I spent a lot of years doing research and everything. And this is my comic series right here. It is called Gisun Shin. Gisun Shin is about a Korean admiral that battled the Japanese in the 1500s. He was out number 10 to 1, and he beat him 23 times in a row without ever losing a single battle. It's all based on a true story, and we've got a deal going on. You buy issues 1, 2, 3, and 4. I will sell you all four books for only 10 bucks, and I'll sign each copy for you. And I'll include a couple things in there for you. By the way, no matter what you guys buy tonight, you get a bunch of free swag, too. It's awesome. The first thing you get are bookmarks right here. So you get a Challengers bookmark right here. This is Pat and Dale from Challengers, and they got this cool bookmark here with some great artwork, and then you get a Yusun Shin bookmark as well. If you're a repeat customer, you get another Yusun Shin bookmark because I want you to pass this around. So you get these, right? But on top of that, you get something limited and exclusive just for you. You get a Warline sketch. Warline oh is the main character of my next comic. It is coming out in 2021. And this is the first rendering ever of the character. Um, it, it's free to the next people. Uh, let's see. We, we've we already gone through half more than half of these. So we only got, uh, what is it? 16 of them left. So uh, there we go. Uh, Josh wants a first set of Yisun Shin. Now, Josh, I just want to let you know all your options here. With Yisun Shin, you also got issues five, six, seven, eight, and I got issue nine up here. You could get all nine issues right now for $23. I sign them all for you. I include a personalized message to you, which I hand uh, sign off on. It's a beautiful thing. I send everything right to your front door. Just call as you see it. Nine comics for $23. And Kevin, I'm going to kick it over to you. Why don't you tell everybody about the trades? I'm running out of breath here. I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, you do it breath real quick. Get water. I'm going to tell yeah, get water. That we got going on all the time, okay, guys? We always have the special on. We got these already pre wrapped, hand picked by Henri and myself, okay? These are Marvel and DC Comics. We got 10 books, $10. We got two graphic novels, $15. Like I said, guaranteed to be Marvel or DC. We also have in this beautiful package uh, a select key um, single issue, and that goes for $30. Guaranteed to be a first appearance in a uh, um, a villain and or superhero that has not entered in the cinematic film yet. So, guys, we have 10 books, $10, Marvel and DC, two graphic novels, $15, all prepackaged, ready to go in the Hunter Killer, ready for you and your folks at the holidays. All right? So I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to go back to something that I uh, want to tell you about. I like to talk about this all the time. Um, I really want this to enter someone's collection. This is the Bicentennial Captain America. Okay, now what that means is this is a giant sized book. It's big. All right, it's pretty much like a uh, 16 by 12. So it's a big book. It's old school. This is from the 70s. So you get that original art, all that original art. This is a beautiful book. Right now, Captain America, Bicentennial Battles. This book right here, right now, what do we got going on? It's 40 bucks, Andre. I'm doing this one for 40 bucks. Looks like we lost Andre. And I'm going to keep going to the next one, okay? Captain America Bicentennial Battles. $40 oversize original print. Let's do it. All right, guys, and I'm going to kick it to something else. This is another graphic novel. It's going for just $8. This is called Southern Bastards. This is a great book, great story. Uh, I've read it. I can't really tell you anything about it unless I ruin it because everything I have to say about it is key. Yo, Kevin, uh, Joe McAfee is asking how much you're uh, selling the uh, She-Hulk uh, Masterworks for. She-Hulk Masterwork. Oh, snap. So let me tell you about this. Josh, uh, we got you on all nine for 23. I will sign those for you live. 
Just give me a moment. Let Kevin here tell us about the She-Hulk Masterworks here. All right, this She-Hulk Masterworks not only collects the issues in comic book form inside, but also this particular book is signed by David Anthony Kraft. David Anthony Kraft pretty much wrote this story for She-Hulk. He and a lot of numerous other projects for Marvel. It's an amazing book. And he's also the co-writer of East and Shin, folks. Yes, co-writer of East and Shin. Yep. This book is amazing, and it's like I said, it's signed by David Anthony Kraft. I think we're doing this one right here for about one forty-five. And uh, another thing I want to mention too is, aside from writing the forward to this, uh, Dak provides a lot of additional uh, commentary and uh, footage in here. There's like scripts in there. There's actual layouts that he drew. There's all kinds of stuff that make this totally worth putting in your collection. It is on it is signed by my creative cohort. Yi Soon Shin is even mentioned in the forward, which I think is yeah. really, really cool. Yi Soon to the Shizan. Guys, I'm gonna talk about this right here. This is Martha Washington. This is Frank Miller and Dave Gibbons. I have a series right here. This is incredible. The stories also represent uh, a lot of things that are happening in our world right now. So uh, these are great reads. These are relevant books to our times. And I think you're really going to enjoy them. Check out all these different colors. This is the Martha Washington series. I've got how many? How many, how many books do I got? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. I got all eight books of the Martha Washington series going for $16. What? 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 That's insane. That's crazy. You're literally giving that away, Kevin. I didn't do this for the third for the four last time. I'm giving these away. Eight books. Sixteen. Four. Do I say sixteen dollars? Okay, Kevin, you sold the uh, She Hulk at one forty-five. Awesome. Recipe, thank you so much. We appreciate it, sir. You're a good thank man. You very much. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna take that off the uh, the old kicker there. So, Kevin, I might have a second copy of that signed by Dak here, so uh, I can I, I might be able to get that to Joe a little bit quicker. Uh, but uh, right. Joe, we'll be in touch. We'll reach out to you. Thank you so much. We appreciate your business. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It really means a lot to us. We're all um, self-created. We we built our own dealer base um, with our with our own collections, and now we're here. So people like you really help us. Thank you very much. And uh, Joe, also one other thing I'd be happy to do for you, man. Um, if you're ever interested in selling any of your books, we'd be happy to uh, take some off of your off of your plate and and bring you on, bring them on the show and and see how some uh, other folks uh, take to it. And I promise you, I'll read your books. And I have a feeling that we're gonna we're gonna sell some stuff together because um, you're getting new people here who uh, they're familiar with everything that's out there but they're not really familiar with the creator own stuff. So reach out to me, brother. We got a lot to talk about. And Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. I'm sorry, brother. No, bring it on back. Bring it on back. I got another bad ace book that I need to talk about, okay? This is Adventures into Fear with Man Thing. For the people who don't know what this is, this is the first appearance of Howard the Duck. That's very important. He's got his own series now. Is it a series or a movie? It's a series, I think. Yeah, it's a it's a it's going to be a series soon from Hulu. Yep. Um, so Howard the Duck is is coming to Hulu, guys. Howard the Duck, guys. We haven't seen him since the early '90s, late '80s. Check this out. This book right here going for sixty five dollars. Adventures into Fear with Man Thing. First appearance of Howard the Duck, sixty five dollars. Really, Kevin? Are you sure we can do that? I think that's yeah. a little. Yes, I'm positive we can do that. I'm one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I I ain't gonna argue with you, man. You're you're you know you know what you're doing here. I've got another copy that's in better condition. I can do for a hundred, but this one I'm doing sixty bucks. All right. Let's go ahead and put it back on the shelf. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk to you about is Moon Knight. Everyone loves Moon Knight. This is a, a little special edition. I love this cover. 
It comes in this super hard plastic. Uh, I think it came that way when it was first released. Uh, this is uh, number 25. This is um, a double size issue. Now, the reason it's a double size issue is because it contains, it contains more content. Sorry, I almost dropped it there. It contains more content, and let's go ahead and take it out. I have never taken this book out of this bag. Josh, I didn't know that they were making a, a new uh, remake of Buck Rogers. That's pretty awesome. That's a nice looking uh, Moon Knight you got there, Kevin. Damn, doggone right it is. This is a gorgeous Moon Knight. Okay, let's reflect the cover. It's a beautiful cover. See it changes. Yeah. Totally. You know what? I'm gonna get crazy. I'm gonna get crazy. I'm gonna tell Henri. You know what? You tell me what we're selling this one for. Seven hundred dollars, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seven hundred dollars. Hey, I like it. We'll do seven dollars. Seven dollars. Okay, cool. That sounds good to me. I What's like the it. MSRP on that, Kevin? MSRP on that, and usually you can find it between five and fifteen. So I think we're right in a good spot. Awesome. Awesome. And Joe. Yes, I do think you're really going to love the She-Hulk book that you're picking up. Being a, a She-Hulk and Wonder Woman fan, I know that uh, you you have a Amazonian type of character in your book, and I'm sorry I don't remember it off the top of my bat, uh, off the top of my head right now. But I have seen your book; it is really great stuff. I think it, it, it you know, we will we will talk for sure, and I think you will really love it. We also have lots of Wonder Woman stuff, so stick around. Oh yeah, speaking of Wonder Woman, I got one right here, brother. Check this out. This is a $3 book. This is number 35, the Wonder Woman series, okay? This was done by uh, Gail Simon. And Gail Simone. Gail, is it Simone? Simone, yeah, Gail Simone. Okay. You've met her before. Have I? Yeah, we've, we've run into her at, uh, at, at New York Comic Con a bunch of times. Oh, I've been to so many Comic Cons and shake so many hands. I yeah, no, no worries. Oh, we've seen her at Baltimore, too. You've, well, it's you've met her before. Book. It's going for $3. Beautiful cover. Call it as you see it, folks. I got this Wonder Woman book, number 35, going for $3. $3. $3. Oh, call it as you see it. All right. Joshua is saying he loves his Wonder Woman and Kitty Pride. You guys know this. Um, yeah. I actually live 15 minutes away from where Kitty Pride is from, Deerfield, Illinois. Um, I live in the neighboring town of Northbrook. Deerfield is literally... A hop, skip, and a jump away from where I live. And we're Kevin Gould, out, too. Check this out, Henri. This is a number eight. This is Marvel Spotlight on Captain Marvel. Beautiful. And then a nice book. This is another book I'm going to offer. $5 pressing if you pick it up. $5 pressing, $5 guys. Pressing. $15 service from us. And... Uh, $20 or more through other other vendors. That's right. So I'm going to do this Captain Marvel book right here. This is a number eight, folks. Number eight. I'm going to do this book for $15. You want to get it pressed? It's a, it's a flat 20. Call it as you see it, folks. 20 day lures. 20 day lures. All right, guys. Are you ready to get back to me? Yeah, no, Andre's got a bunch of stuff to kick it back to him. And then uh, when he's done and he runs out of breath again, uh, we'll go ahead and bring it on back. Yeah, I also need to get a sweater because it's it's pretty cold. Oh. In Chicago. Jo Joshua, like I said, actually, Kevin grew up right at the, the border of where Deerfield and Northbrook meet. So Kevin was as close to Kitty Pride as you could ever imagine. I did. I grew up at 4065 Lake Cook Road. Thank you for telling us that information, Kevin. We appreciate that. It's now um, turkey home, so you guys do what you want with that. <laughs> yes, you can do what you want with that information. All right. So Wonder Woman. We're talking Wonder Woman here. I got some I got a bunch of Wonder Woman stuff here tonight. I also got some uh I got a lot of cool stuff up here, but I have Wonder Woman 750. This is a giant size book. Giant size spectacular. I got three copies of this bad boy. This is normally going at 10 bucks. Tonight, guys, we'll do it for $8. $8 on this. You're saving two bucks on the cover price of that. That's insane. Two bucks on that. Eight, eight dollars total for this book right here. Just eight dollars. Call it as you see it. Call it as you see it. 
All right, let's see. Let's see the comments here. All right, uh, Kevin, I think we've got that, uh, that Captain Marvel. Okay. She's yours. Do they want to press? Uh, yes. $20 even? Yeah. Uh, and that was called by Mr. Joe McAfee. So we got him, we got him on that too. So Joe, it's probably better to have Kevin send you everything now because he's going to press your book for you. So we got you on that. The Captain Marvel. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you coming on the show tonight and giving us your business. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Once again, I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Joe McAfee. He's a local Chicago comics creator. He's been at this for a long time. Phenomenal guy. We've run into each other uh, multiple times. Um, and Joe, do I have any other variants on the Wonder Woman? Unfortunately, I do not, sir. I only have those books right here, but I can dig around and I can also ask Patrick and Dale if they have it. I'm sure they'd be willing to cut you in on uh, the same deal I'm offering tonight. Well, uh, that's really up to their discretion, though, because these are not my comics. These are their comics. I'm just, uh, you know, in the process of acquiring stuff right now, and they have some overstock from their blue store. I'm sure you know about this. And uh, I want to help them move some of these books and get them out there because uh, they took a really hard hit this year because of COVID. And then, um, you know, what happened uh, that one of their stores got looted and um, they had to close it down. And uh, both Pat and Dell have had a tremendous year in terms of challenges, but I have always seen them rise to the occasion. They have been around for a long time now. They've been working in comics for a very long time. Uh, when I told them that I was getting into the dealer game, they were nothing but supportive. They're phenomenal guys. They gave me this wonderful opportunity to share some of the stuff that they have from their blue store and bring it here tonight. So, uh, and to give you guys some discounts on it too. So all these books are discounted here too, um, just very slightly. Um, and we want, cause we want to put some money in challengers pockets. We want to see these guys succeed. We want to see them get back to a point where they can open up multiple shops again. Um, Patrick and Dale put their blood, sweat and tears into what they did with their blue shop. I remember, uh, I was at, uh, their blue store in uh, January and I was hanging out with Patrick over there and it was, it was really, even then it was really hard because they had to put so much time into, you know, splitting their responsibilities between each store. They're running these shops by themselves between the two of them, which is no easy feat. It's very hard. They don't have a lot of help. For it. Yeah. And you know, these guys, they care about comics. They're always working to make sure that they stock up on creator owned stuff as well as new stuff, and they're always on the hunt for other things. They're, they're great. They've become a staple in the Chicago comics community, and it is a genuine honor to be able to share their work with you guys. Or not their work, but their, their collection with you guys tonight. So let's keep working down the, the list here. I just wanted to pull this out. Kevin, I think you'll appreciate this cover a lot. This is uh, Ghost Spider, also known as Spider Gwen. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, this is issue four, and is that new? Yeah, it's, these are all new comics, man. These this is all new stuff. You know, this is all from Challengers Comics. These are like Dude. books that they just had in in the back, and they're like, if you can help us move some of these books, that would be great. It's not like that they would have a problem selling these themselves. They're just help. They're helping me out. They're doing me a favor, and uh, this is a. Uh, number four for a, sp a ghost spider it includes the digital copy with it as well, which is kind of cool. Um, and let's see. It's got some cool action sequences. I like this. I haven't actually read this, I'll be honest, but I mean, it looks cool. I really like this, this, uh, this top panel here. I think that's pretty cool. Gives you a nice action shot. Very rewarding. Cover price on that is four dollars. We're gonna knock it down to three. I got issues four and five, both of these together, going for six bucks, and I have multiple copies of them. Right on. Call it as you see it. 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 As you see it. These are going back on the rack. Is that your Russian dance, Henry? No, this is my Russian dance. It's where you, you gotta get. You gotta get down. You gotta drink the vodka. And you gotta be like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
and then I got Glenn Poole, number five. We got a we got a cosplayer on the cover here. Oh snap! Yeah, Joe, you remember Patrick when he was working at Graham Crackers? Yeah, I mean, you know, when he opened up his shop, it was around the same time I started, uh, you know, move, making moves forward with Eastern Chin and stuff. And uh, you know, it's like really cool, like how he has grown and 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 with his shop with Dale. And Dale was also working um, at Grand Crackers for a while too. And both these guys just have like a wellspring of knowledge. Like they just know so much about this business. And so it's really great to be like uh, learning from them. I've always been learning from them, you know, even when I was just putting out Eastern Shin and they were always very helpful and very supportive of the book. They always made sure to stock it. They still make sure to stock it. And it's not an easy thing to do. So I, I appreciate them very much. They're very good friends of mine. I got Gwen Poole, number five, numero five, going for three bucks tonight, guys. Three bucks for Gwen Poole. Three dollars. She's part Gwen Stacy, part Deadpool, and 100% ah. Gwen Poole. Three dollars. I haven't read this book. Let's look inside. Let's see what's in there. Henry approves. Three dollars on this. Call it as you see it. And then I got another uh, book right here, Batgirl. I'm gonna pitch this, Kevin. Then it's going back to you, my brother. Okay. Check out this matted cover here of Batgirl. Um, this is put out by Sean Murphy. Really beautiful cover. And guys, this guy's artwork is insane. This is uh, Sean Garden Murphy. Uh, Kevin and I are really big fans of his artwork and him as a person. We've met him at uh, Awesome Con, and he sold me this hardcover of Tokyo Ghost, which is amazing if you guys have ever had a chance to read it. Um, but they basically handed him the keys to doing whatever he wants with Batman, and he's put out multiple Batman stories, and it looks like he's bringing back the 90s uh, Gene Paul Valley Batman uh, into his story, which is kind of cool. Um, and let's see, what's the MSRP on this? It's five dollars tonight. We're doing it for four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars right here. This is going back up on the rack. We may never see this again. And I'll tell you right now, if it ends up back at Challengers, Pat and Dale are not discounting that book. Guarantee you. They're just doing it as a favor to me. We're trying to help each other out here. All right, Kevin, I'm kicking it over to you. Kick it over to me. Hello. Oh. And Joshua loves his work on uh, not White Knight Batman, best story ever. Oh, we got Ziggy here. Ziggy More in the Ziggy. house. Ziggy, what up, dog? What up, dog? <laughs> but that's my dog, Ziggy, guys. He's awesome. Um, I'm going to kick it up. A little bit, and I'm going to present another web Spider Man. Okay, this is a good one. This is number 10. Great cover, says a whole lot. This book right here is in great condition, and it's only going for five dollars, folks. Web of Spider Man number 10, five dollars. Five dollars, guys. Five dollars. Crazy. I'm going to raise you one because we were just talking about Sean. Check it out. I got another Sean Murphy right here. Harley Quinn. Wow. New. Spanking brand new. This book is amazing. Our work in here is just absolutely incredible. Sean is just. Dude, dude can dude can rock a pen. He can rock a pen, folks. This is Sean. This is a Sean Murphy. And this one's going for seven dollars. Call it as you see it. This is the new Harley Quinn. This is one of the variants. Seven dollars, folks. Seven dollars. All right, guys, hold on. I gotta go. I'm gonna kick it back for one second here. What? That's perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it, Kevin. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. But this is the deal here. I want someone to make a gosh darn bid on that last Ronin. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm giving you incentive right now. 
make one dollar at, at one dollar to the bid. Thirty-one dollars, and I will throw in the season chin print for free with your order if you win. Okay, wow. all you got to do is just place a bid. Thirty-one dollars, you get this signed what by me, by the way, signed and numbered. There's only like twenty of these in stock. You get, you get some early, edition, early Eastern Shin stuff. This is something I put out a long time ago. This is when I was first promoting the series. I was just digging through some stuff back there. All you got to do, raise it up by $1. $31. Next person who raises the bid goes and gets this. Signed That's by right, me. Bro. That's right. You get your to to you. I'm sorry, brother. I just had to let everybody know. And Show them the cover one more time. Last Ronin one. This is the hot book that came out last week that no one could get their hands on, but we got it, and we're getting it to you at the best price we can. The auction ends at the end of this episode. we got 35 minutes left, and we will announce the winner. Right now, the bid is at $30. You're going to get your Ronin. You're going to get your Yisun Shin poster. You're going to get a sign all in this auction. Okay, guys? So... Omri has that auction going on right now. What I want to tell you about is what I got going on with my setup here. Okay, so I'm gonna kick it over here and I'm gonna go pick up something from the Suicide Squad. Okay, the Suicide Squad numero deuce. That's number two. Number two. Number, number two. two. This is an old comic. It's in great condition. Great condition. I was thinking about pressing this book. Right now, I got an amazing deal. I got this book going for just $3. Only tonight. It's going up to $10. $3, guys. Suicide Squad number two. Call it as you see it. We got it here. Mr. Awesome. Trying to get crazy with prices. Trying to get you guys excited. Suicide. And, uh, Joe, any action comic books? Joe, let me go check right now. Kevin, you keep kicking and, uh, and, and show them folks stuff. I'm going to go see what we got in action. Yeah, not a problem, guys. I got this book right here, too. This is a part two of Batman Year Three. This is a classic book. Uh, this is number 437. And this book right here is going for just two bucks. Two dollars, folks. Call it as you see it. I got them here. I got the deals. I got the specials. I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. This one's cool. This is a Robin book. I love this cover. This is 163. Look at the, go ahead and look at that cover. It looks like a belt buckle or something, and you got the reflection of Robin. This book's awesome. Let me open it up for you so you can see some of this artwork because it is incredible. This artwork and stuff, uh, the artwork and writing is done by Adam Beachman and Freddie E. Williams II. Um, they're pretty incredible what they do. They're doing the Robin run, of course. And uh, Joe, just letting you know, I did find some action comics. Kevin's going to tell you about this, some books, and I will get back to you. And Joe, Josh, yes, the invoice will be separate uh, if you're if you're calling uh, from Kevin from now on. Uh, but we ship very we ship ship using media mail, so it's very very cheap. Um, probably anything you call from Kevin is going to cost you three bucks to ship, and anything from me as well. This Robin book is three dollars, folks. Three dollars. All right, guys, now I'm going to tell you about that deal we got going on again. We got 10 books going for $10, all in this nicely packaged Hunter Killer collectible folder right here. 10 books, $10, all Marvel and DC, handpicked by Henry and myself, okay? We also got the two graphic novels going for just $15. This is a great deal, and they're all Marvel and DC. Another thing I want to tell you about is in the same folder, we have another issue. We have a $30 key issue bundle. So that means you spend $30, you're going to get a key issue comic book that was handpicked by Henri and myself. And it's guaranteed to be uh, either villain or superhero that has not been issued in any cinematic films at all yet. Kevin, I'm going to take it over because we got some questions here I want to answer. Yeah, kick it. Okay. Kick so, it. Uh, Joe, thank you for, for tuning in. Um, and, Josh, you guys both asked. I'm going to just clarify everything for you guys right now. So, yes, Kevin and I are in separate locations. So um, think of it as though you're buying from two separate dealers, but we're actually one dealer, but um, you're just buying from two different locations. So what we would be doing is we'd be invoicing you separately. If you buy from Kevin, you're going to get a separate invoice. 
um, as opposed to me. It's going to be from the same company because Hunter Killer Collectibles is our company, um, but it's going to be shipping from two different locations. Um, shipping is $3 for, uh, anywhere. For, it ranges in price, I should say. I'm sorry. It's not just a flat $3, depending on what you buy. If you buy, for example, like what Josh did, he bought all nine issues of Beast and Shin, that's going to be like under $3 for shipping. It's going to be like, you know, I, I would just say it's $3 just to be on the safe side. And then um, anything he buys from uh, Kevin, it'll, you know, depending on what he gets, the shipping costs can go from uh, anywhere from three to twelve dollars. Now I don't determine the the actual shipping costs. The USPS does, so I basically just go based off of weight and what the what the actual package is going to look like, and you know they they tell me when I go over to 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 weigh it. Um, and we have a we have a scale where we. We actually weigh it as well, and we ship everything in media mail. Unfortunately, you can't just ship media mail from anywhere. You have to actually show up in person and do it. Um, but it's a special book rate, so it's cheaper. Um, it doesn't take that long to get over. I mean, it's just basically you're going to wait like a max a week to get your books. But um, they provide tracking on all the packages, so you will know where your books are at all time. And we have all that information. Um, and we will get back to you if you guys are trying to track your shipment. Just let me know. I try and get out to the post office as often as I can, um, but it is becoming incre increasingly difficult because we got so many orders coming in. And before we were waiting for Kevin to ship stuff to me so that I could ship to you guys in one big bulk order. But it really held things up, uh, particularly for <laughs> Mike and Trish. I haven't forgotten about you guys. I know I have to, you know, put together an invoice. I got a lot of stuff I got to do right now. We have like like an insane amount of orders that I still have to fulfill. And, you know, it's, it just makes things easier if Kevin handles whatever he sells and ships it out. When Timmy sells something, he'll, he'll ship it out from Florida, but you know, you guys are getting from the same company and you know, it's, it's us. Um, and it's, it's not going to, it's not going to put a hole in your pocket. The amount of money you would spend just driving in a gap at, at to a convention or spending money to get into a convention far outweighs the price of just paying for the shipping, at least in my opinion. And we'll package it up very nicely. We'll make sure that your books arrive in the condition that we present them to you on the show. All right. Now, Joe, you had asked me about Action Comics. This is what I was able to dig up for you, my brother. I got uh, these two variants of Action Comics uh, 1018. So this is the variant right here. And this has an MSRP of $5. We'll do it for $4 tonight. And then we got... This one right here, this is done by John Romita Jr. And this is also going for $4 normally. We'll do it for 3 tonight. Don't we also have that uh, Rude variant of 1000 Yeah, we do have Action Comics 1000. We have uh, the Steve Rude variant. We have, do you have a blank one? I do somewhere. Okay. All right. We got that one. We got the Steve Rude one. We have the regular, the Jim Lee cover. And then I think that's it but action comics 1000 dude that's like what really like that was like the aha moment for us when we were like we should start dealing and flipping comics and stuff so yeah yep. yeah that's cool yeah slinging comics flipping selling them moving them getting them into people's hands uh joe call it as you see it we got that book for you here um i'm gonna keep working oh wait kevin did i cut you off you you're, you're supposed to still get it right uh, you're fine, buddy. Go ahead and finish up, and then I'll bring it back. No, I'm done. Do you want to? You want to take it? I got a couple things I can present. Go for it. Go for it. All right, guys. I got Black Panther number seven. This is a cool book. Uh, great cover. Uh, the Black Panther story everybody knows is a um, um, a black superhero that pretty much runs Wakanda. He's the king there. And uh, he just fights evil people all over the planet. So uh, great book. I got this book going for two dollars, folks. Two dollars. Black Panther number seven. Two dollars. All right, Joe. Uh, those action comics covers. I got two of the variant of the the one with the cape, and then the John Romita Jr. one. I got plenty of it. I don't know how rare it is, but I mean, it's it, we're 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 giving you a dollar off the cover price of the book. Just call it as you see it. Go ahead, Kevin. I'm sorry. Absolutely. I also have this Black Panther number three, which is a really cool one because it's got the Fantastic Four and you got the thing, flame right there. Uh, and then you got Mr. Fantastic and everything's going on in here is really cool. This is a great book. 
I'm pairing this with the other Black Panther. So I got this one going for two bucks. I got two Black Panther books, number three and number seven, going for four dollars right now, folks. Call it as you see it. If you don't have this in your inventory, they're great reads. All right. Uh, also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and promote something that I want to promote, and that is the Robinson series. Okay, this is Golden Age. Cool books. This is a gold foil book. The artwork in here is awesome. It's old school Americana style. Um, a very, very clean book. Uh, whoever put it together, which was James Robinson, Paul Smith, and uh, Richard Ori. Now these guys are they're, they're pretty they're pretty big in the industry. All right, so uh, they came out with this DC comic called Golden Age. I'm gonna open this one up for you. I don't really open this gold foil up too often because it's in such great condition. Check that out. Look at that. Now, when you open it up, you check out the artwork. It's amazing. Very old school. How a lot of us grew up in the 90s. Very cool book. This book right here is going for just $7. This Golden Age book. $7, guys. This is a full gold foil cover. This is the uh, first of the series. I got the rest of the series up here. I got all four books going for just $15 for all four. Go ahead and see it, folks. Four books, $15. All Golden Age books. Incredible artwork. The Robinson series. Call it as you see it. Call it as you see it. Yeah. I'll go ahead and present to you a couple of the other um, covers that came with that series. Call it here, folks. Four books. So, uh, Joe has a question. Sorry, quick isn't uh, quick question. Isn't Jax of Mortal Kombat uh, off Mortal Kombat Marvel? I'm not really sure how to answer your question, uh, Joe. I'm really sorry. Uh, I believe Jax is just part of the Mortal Kombat universe, which is separate from the Marvel universe. It's a different thing. I'm not sure if there was a crossover there uh, from what Kevin just showed you. But um, yeah, I I'm not really sure. Right on. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna present to you one more, and then we'll go ahead and kick it with Yi Sun Shin style. We'll go ahead and get out Yi Sun Shin, and we'll talk about that Ronin one more time. Supreme. This is a gorgeous book, number one, great condition. This book's going for five dollars right now, right here, right now. If you want to, I'll press this book for five dollars as well. So what do we got on that, Kevin? We got ten dollars pressed. Ten dollars pressed, guys. This is a limited, like this is like a one-time thing. Kevin is not doing that going forward. I don't. You know why? Because it takes the thirty to three hours of my time. Thirty minutes to three hours of my time to press your book. I'm doing it for five dollars right now. And Joe, you got nothing to be sorry about. There is no such thing as a bad question. Ask away. That's what we're here to do. We're here to engage you. We're here to talk to you. We're here to get some comics in your hands. Don't ever be a. Uh, don't ever apologize. Welcome to the show. This is a series that we all love. Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Now this one contains Spider Man and Ghost Rider. All right, this is pretty badass. Um, this book we're going for four dollars. We're gonna get this open here. Get out of the advertisements. Yes, Phil, there is a TMNT available. Hang on just a second. Oh, snap. We got Philip in the house. Phil Grunfeld. Oh! That's Spider Man 29. That's Spider Man 29, by the way, guys. is going for $2. Oh, sorry, Kevin. Hold on. I wanted to. Phil's asking if we had TMNT. I just wanted to tell him about Last Ronin. Hang on to that Spider Man 2099. Just one second. No, you're good. Take it away from here, Audrey. All right, Phil. So check this out, brother. Just so you know, all right? This is the Last Ronin right here. This is um, a new Ninja Turtles series that came out, and it's the last Ninja Turtles series. The two creators of Ninja Turtles, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, 
have finally reunited after years of not working together to bring us the last Ninja Turtle story. And in this story, all the Ninja Turtles and Splinter are dead. There is only one Ninja Turtle left alive. They have not revealed who it is. They will reveal it in this issue right here. So um, it is a phenomenal book. We have an auction going. We got only one copy of it left. The current bid is $30 on it. Add your bid at any point. We will announce the winner in exactly 20 minutes. We're at $30 right now. Just call it as you see it. And if you decide you want to pick up Last Ronin, this is a hard book to find for a number of reasons. Uh, when retailers placed orders for, for this book, it was after the fact that the publisher actually printed this book. This is a book that is going to be worth something, and it is a very hard book for us to acquire. So Kevin and I managed to get a, a, a select few number uh, of books. We are getting these books slabbed, and we're going to be throwing them in a vault, and we're going to just wait until something uh, with this happens, because it will. It's the last uh, you know, Ninja Turtle story. Ninja Turtle. And Ninja Turtle story, yeah. So we got that. We also have some early TMNTs from uh, Dan Emerson's collection. I'd be happy to let you know. But just answering your question, man, good to see you. We love you. You're one of our – Phil Grunfeld's one of our good friends, and uh, he, he was a major help uh, when we were at uh, New York Comic Con in 2016 and taking on the 1500 comic book battle for the first time. And it was Phil, Kurt, and Kevin and I, and we just – and Young Jen, and we totally whooped butt. Kevin, I'm kicking it back to you. Go ahead and finish up. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. I just wanted to finish right, Bill, up. Bill's down for 35 on uh, the last Woo! Woo! Look at that, folks. Hey, Bill, hey, Bill, if we can, can you go up to $42.50? We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Inside joke, folks. That's on me, folks. All right, $35 That's on last Ronin. And check it out. We got $2 on this book right here, Spider-Man 2099. $2. Call it to see it, folks. Call it to see it. All right, I'm going to put this one down. I'm going to move on to my next one. One of my uh, one of my last ones right here. I love this series. This is a great book. This is Robin 3000. Okay, this is an awesome book. It's a bound book, so it doesn't it doesn't read like a single issue. It reads like a soft graphic novel. But it's absolutely incredible. And I'm doing five bucks on this Robin right now. Robin 3000. Call it and see it, folks. We got great deals going on. And if you do it right now, I might even knock a dollar off. That might make it $4. But right now, it's $5. Call it as you see it. Let's see how crazy we can get. Robin Hood 3000. And, Phil, I got you on the early uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. We got to price a lot of it out still. But we definitely have um, issues. I think the earliest issue we got is, like, issue 8. And we have a trade of the first six issues collected, a first edition print of that, which I think we're going to auction off at some point. But I'll, I'll let you see those early issues, too. Absolutely. Guys, this is the last thing I got for you. I got a bundle. And then I'm going to kick it back to Henri and see what I got left in my inventory to offer to you. So this is the Dork series. It's just a series of different kind of stories. And it's fun. It's kind of like old school Mad Lib style. But at the same time, it's like uh, it's like Mad Libs and Simpsons meets, you know, uh, a very, very dark creator. Because, I mean, look here. What we got? We got Charlie Brown dressed up as Chucky. Or somebody. What we got here? This is a voodoo doll, pin doll. Someone's getting a hat on them. These are great books. I got all three of these books right here. We went for $5 for all three. The Dork series. This is awesome. It's hilarious. And I got it going for you for just five dollars. All three. All right, see you, folks. Right now, I'm going to kick it back to Henri and give you my smiling face for two seconds, and he's going to tell you about everything he's got going on. I know we want to talk about some some shit a little bit more and a couple different promotions that we're doing. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, I'm going to kick it back to Henri. All right, Kevin, that's not the last we're seeing of you, my brother. But we got the last running right now. The current bid is thirty-five dollars. In about 16 minutes, we're going to be announcing the winner. The highest bid right now is our good friend, Mr. Phil Grunfeld. Who's going to beat out Phil Grunfeld? Nobody can beat Phil Grunfeld except for the person that raises him by $1, 36 bucks. Let's keep that going. And here's the thing, guys. The money that we raised for this is going um, to a good cause. It's going to the Honorary Dinner Fund. 
and I can finally stop eating um, ramen noodles and maybe work my way up to a value meal at McDonald's. So please don't be shy. You know, this is the time to jump on this stuff, all right? Now, what else we got here? I got Yisu Shin hardcovers, folks. The first graphic novel here, we got a uh, forward by Stan Lee in here. Over 50 pages of bonus content, including a director's cut, interviews with our creative team, and these beautiful character spreads in the back. Really proud of this. This comes signed by me. Normally we sell this at $25, but I will knock it down to $20 for you. We also got the second volume here going for another $20. Bucks. You can get both volumes for $40. All Here's time. Here's the second volume. All day long. All day long. Ping pong ball. Ping. <laughs> Hang on just a second there. Uh, all right. Joshua is in at uh, 40 Bill is now at 45 We're at 45 oh. on last Ronin. This is insane, guys. We only got 15 minutes left. Who's going to win? It's a war between Phil and Josh. Which one of them is going to win? I have no idea. But I have I have great faith that the the strongest man will win. And I love you both. Thank you so much for helping me and Kevin out. We 15 minutes left, guys. 15 minutes left. We also got Mark's right here. This is the story of my grandfather's life during World War I. He, or sorry, World War II. World War II. World War II. World War Dur. <laughs> you stop laughing. You stop what? that laughing. This is about my grandfather's life right here, guys. During the Second World War, he fought the Nazis. He was a Russian Jewish soldier. He didn't sit on the sidelines. He went out and he and he gave it to them. And uh, joined World War One. <laughs> He poked him with his bandits. <laughs> we're having too much fun. This is we're just having a great night here, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so check it out, Marks. Uh, this is a very, uh, you know, meaningful story to me. This is uh, the story of my grandfather's life. It took me uh, a lot to get this story out there and into the world. Um, I was actually interviewing him at, in the process of him slowly dying. And so I had to see all that. And I was watching him kind of like fade in and out of reality and like losing parts of his history. And I had to record it in really small windows of time. I had to spend a lot of time with him. He was uh, at a nursing home at one point and I was just hanging out with him. And um, I was the last person to see him alive, which was, uh, you know, really, uh, really hard. Um, he, you know, he died a week before my my wedding. And the one thing he always said to me when he was alive was, um, I just want to live long enough to see you get married and have kids. And he died a week before my wedding. He also said this, when he found out that I was making a book about him, he asked, is this going to be a comic book? And I said, yes. And he goes, well, I hope I die before it comes out. And he got his wish. It actually happened. So, hey, <laughs> everything worked out. All right. Well, anyway, we also got Mark. Mark's is going for 15 bucks, by the way. And uh, come signed by me. It is a one-shot series, so there are no sequels or prequels to it. We also got Tales from the Crypt. I worked on a Tales from the Crypt story, um, and uh, I got some copies uh, at wholesale price from the publisher. So I got the soft cover going for fifteen. I got the hard cover going for twenty-five, and we also have a single issue going for just ten dollars. It all comes signed by me, and uh, it's a heck of a deal. You get all this other swag with it too. And uh, let's see, uh, something else that I wanted to tell you guys about that we didn't get to is, um, is this watch that my grandpa? It's this watch right here. <laughs> Hang on, uh, I'm just trying to dig it up here for all you Harley Quinn fans out there. I got these exclusive covers right here. This is from the new rebirth thing this is done by evas these are variants okay these are going for 10 bucks a pop just call it as you see it call it as you see it and i'm going to check the comments real quick just to see where we're at with our with our auction here we got a very limited amount of time left kevin how are we doing on time we only got 11 minutes left on this bad boy and last we checked we were at 45 on this bad boy. Now let's see where we're at. 
We're still at 45, but you know what? That's not a bad place to be. Phil Grunfeld is the current highest bidder on that. And uh, Phil, we love you, buddy. Oh, okay. There was another one. way to drive Kurt's car. <laughs> yes. He, he got us past 42 and a half. I love Phil for that. <laughs> Such a great guy. <laughs> All right. This book right here is um, uh, Rorschach. If you guys have seen the new Watchmen show on um, HBO, it is fantastic. This story takes place in that same universe, in that same timeline. And it is about the return of Rorschach. It starts off really great. It's a very political book um, and it's phenomenal. This is a variant. There's a there's actually a political backstory to the creation of this book, which I won't get into here, but um, it is a really great read. I really love this cover. I am doing this for $10 tonight. I only got one copy of it. Just call it as you see it. 10 bucks on this bad boy. And then I got Harbinger number one. This is a variant cover here. I think this is also done by Ebass. Uh, this is a new character from uh, the Valiant universe. She is a robust female superhero, and she's pretty cool. And the artwork in here is fantastic. It is by my man, Derek Robertson, who is one of the creators of The Boys. He is the artist for The Boys, and he is also the artist for this wonderful and interesting comic book series right here. We are doing this tonight, guys, for just 10 bucks. Call it as you see it. I only got one copy of this. This is an exclusive from our local comic shop, North Shore Comics. And if you're ever in town, feel free to stop by, say hi to Pete, and uh, we'll come hang out. I also got Wonder Woman number 83. We're going to knock it down to 4 bucks. Or sorry, $3.99. What do you need $4 for? <laughs> this is going for 3 bucks tonight. We're not going to dollar off the cover price. Just call it as you see it. And then let's see. We got Cosmic Ghost Rider here. Oh, there's a book here. I haven't read it, but it's got a cool Snake Eyes type character on here. And his name is The Striker. I like the artwork on the inside too, Kevin. What do you think of that artwork? Uh, actually, I do think it's pretty good. It, I think it's good, too. I wish I could draw like that. Yeah, I wish you could draw like that, too. I know. Unfortunately, I can't. That's why we got to sell comics. <laughs> That's why we got to sell comics instead of make them. I mean, we make them, but we don't. We we make them, but we ain't ate them. Whatever. They hate us because they ate us. All right, let's see. Kurt, I can't wait for Henri not to drive your car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you sound like a hyena when you laugh. And that's why I love you, dude. That's okay. That's okay. Totally is okay. Guys, I also got Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. This book won big time at the Ringos. I got issues six and seven of this limited series here. I really love this cover. Here's Jimmy Olsen in a Batman suit. We can see his head in here. I really love that. We're at 48 on Ronin. Josh is up at 48. Let's see what's going on. 48 on Ronin. Phenomenal. 48. Let's see if we can get to 50. Let's see if we can do it. We got exactly seven minutes left. Can we get to five zero dull hairs? Dull hairs. All right, so I got issue six and seven of Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. Normally, these books go at $4. We're going to do them tonight for $3. $3 for both of these wow. books. Right. Six total for both of these comics right here. Just call it as you see it. If you're missing them, this is your chance to snag them before I put them away. And who knows, they might end up back in Challengers. And you may never see them again on this show. Never, ever again. Never say never again. All right. And then I got one last book up here. And then we're going to, I'm going to probably have to kick it back to you, Kevin. Yeah, we'll kick it back to me and close out. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Uh, let me just.
finish up telling folks here about this awesome Wonder Woman issue. So I got Wonder Woman come back to me, number five and number six. These are normally going for five bucks a pop. We're going to do them at four a pop. I got two copies of issue five and one of issue six. If you get them both right now, you're looking at $8 total for five and six or just $4 for the one. Call it as you see it. All right, Kevin, I'm done with my rack. I'm kicking it back to you, my brother. Go ahead. Kick it back to me, man. You got it. I, I got everything on my rack. I'm watching this. Uh, I'm watching this auction. Boom. Legends of the Dark Knight. Now, this is a great series. Everyone loves Dark Knight, right? This is number one. Oh, yeah. Boom. Uno. Number one. I'm not taking it out of the plastic, but I'm going to leave it right here. I got this book right here right now going for eight bucks, guys. Legends of the Dark Knight, number one. Eight dollars. Call it as you see it, folks. We got this going right now and right now only. Our prices change. Dark Knight, number one, eight dollars. Eight dollars. That's crazy. I also have a cool series from the 80s. This was actually came out when I was born in 1983. Cloak and Dagger. I've got uh, a couple books of this, but I'm presenting the number one right now. Okay. Cloak and Dagger's old school, like I said, it's from 1983. It's a Marvel comic. It's got real old school uh, artwork inside of it that uh, everyone can relate to that grew up on comics. And this book is in great condition. Like I said, it's Cloak and Dagger. And this is number one. Back in the day, it was 60 cents. Right now, and right now only, I'm doing this for $4. $4 on a number one Cloak and Dagger, folks. Call it as you see it. $4. Here Call it, nice it, guys. Call it, see it. And uh, one of my last ones right here is Batman. It's called Fortunate Son. Josh is claiming Dark Knight and Suicide Squad 2. Call it as he sees it. Boom. We got you, Joe. Sorry. Josh, Josh. Sorry, sorry Josh. Too. We got you. Uh, Kevin, what was that Dark Knight? DK was $8? Yes. Yeah. And then the Suicide Squad, what were we doing that? Uh, I think $3. Okay, three dollars on the Suicide Squad. Excellent. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You're really helping us out. Hunter Killer wouldn't be here without you guys. We appreciate it, Josh. Thank you. So this is another Batman book. Uh, like I said, Fortunate Son. It's a graphic novel. It's bound. How much it's for the set of uh, Cloak and Dagger? Joe's asking. Uh, Cloak and Dagger with number one and the other one. I'd have to find it. I see number five. I'd have to see which ones I got, but I'd do all of it for uh I'll do all of it for six bucks. The the cloak and dagger? Right now it's number five and number one. If I find more, I'll let them know. Okay, cool. So this book right here is Fortunate Son, Batman Story, Batman and Robin. It's, like I said, it's a graphic novel. Lots of content. Really, really cool artwork. It's different. Very different, very new school. All right, guys, we got two minutes left on this auction. Current two minutes, minutes at $28 for Last Ronin number one. This is a hot comic. We got two minutes left, and we're going to announce the winner. So far, it looks like Josh is ahead. Is he going to take it home? Are we going to Are we going to break $50? We're going to find out in just two minutes here. Two minutes, all right? And not only that, not only are we going to do that, Ronan, but we're going to do this Batman here, Fortune of Some. We're going to do this $5 graphic novel, $5. Josh, you send PayPal info over to us. We will invoice you. We will provide you with all the uh, the information you need. So uh, I think uh, I think you sold that, Kevin. Josh wants to, to buy that, too. The Batman, Fortune of Son? I believe so. What were you doing on that for price? $5 graphic novel, baby. Five dollars all day long. I love it. All right. So the last one I'm going to kick it before Henri finishes up with this auction is again the smartest kid on earth. This is a very cool book. It's uh, it's actually going for about thirty three dollars. I'm going to sell this book right here right now for twenty bucks. I've got two copies of it, both in pristine condition. I'm selling this one for twenty dollars. Call it as you see it, folks. Jimmy Corrigan, smartest kid on earth. Call it as you see it. Hunter Killer Collectibles doing it big. 
I'm getting ready to kick it back to Andre because we got to go over this. All right, we got the timer. We got 15 seconds left. Josh is the current top bid on it. If I do not see anything within the next 10 seconds, this is going to you, Josh, at 48. And we're going to five, four, three, two, and one. Josh, you got this bad boy for $48. Congratulations. You are the winner. You have won. Thank you so much for participating in our auction. We're going to be auctioning off a whole ton of stuff. And here's something else I owe you, Josh. Is it Josh or Joshua? I apologize. I uh, owe you a live signing. And then we're going to close out the show here because uh, that's something that we like to offer here on uh, Kicking It with Andre and Kevin. When you buy books from me directly and you buy Easton Chin, I sign them for you live on the air. So let's, uh, let's do this for you real quick. I'm going to sign your books for you right now. And what a night we had tonight, folks. Thank you all so much for uh, watching the show, for being a part of our outstanding auction, and uh, in general, giving us business. We really, we really appreciate it. And we also look forward to seeing you in the future. You guys are fantastic. We keep doing this for you. We want to keep this industry going. Thank you so much. Honor Killer Collectibles, HKC. Collect HK Collectibles, one, two, three at gmail.com. Hit us up. We also have our website, which is getting ready to premiere soon, probably maybe in the next week or so. Uh, and that'll be ready for you guys to reach all of our inventory, uh, as well as uh, I want to say thank you again to everybody that's helped us out. Pete, Challenger, CBSN, Comicsplex, everybody that just helped us out. Thank you so much. Dan, Tom, all you guys for hooking up inventory. Thank you. We appreciate that, Kevin. Sorry, I was I, I we should have showed you on there, Kevin, but I just wanted to prove that we were signing so you can see my signature right over here, Josh, on all nine of these comics right here. I'm sorry if it's hard for you to see it. In some cases, it could be the lighting or this camera right here, but all of your books have been signed. This is what we do here on Kicking It With Honor. You buy Eastern Chin, you get them signed on the air for everybody to see. If you need to use this as uh witness for uh you know cgc or whatever let this be your witness these books are going straight to you you have my uh you know you're gonna you, you can use a letter that i'm gonna send to you that's personalized that is uh you can use that as a certificate of authenticity if you need to or whatever or cgc can contact me directly whatever the case is you're getting warline you're getting this bookmark right here you're getting a whole ton of stuff Thank you so much for your business. You're also getting, my man, you're also getting a last Ronin number one. You are also getting a Warline sketch. And Joe, one of these is going to you too, my friend. So yes. we only got we only yeah. got 14 of these left, and then we are done. We are done. And Josh, yes, you can use CBCS. They're a great company. We like them a lot because uh, you can send signature stuff over to them without needing one of, you know, some CGC witness present. I love CBCS. I like that they're becoming a much more reputable company. We also get this Challenger's bookmark. And we're going to show you some more of Challenger's stuff. We're definitely going to have more of it up here. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. You won tonight. You won big. And uh, Joe, we yeah. got it for you, baby. This is this is going to you too. So thank you so much. We really appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Um, Kevin, thank you. You did a wonderful job tonight, uh, showcasing everything. Outstanding work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time. All right, excellent. Well, folks, we will be back Wednesday. We got two shows for you on Wednesday. Um, if you haven't checked out our commercial, I'm going to play it for you right now. It's going to tell you exactly when we are on the air and when you can catch us next time. And tomorrow, I am going to stock up on comics. I am so looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to be rummaging through warehouses, looking up uh, you know, titles for you guys. There's stuff I'm going to be looking for. If there's something in particular you want me to look for, just hit me up, and I'll see what I can do to find it for you. And in the meantime, check out this commercial, and then we are going to end tonight's show. Actually, is the commercial gone? It's gone. We only got this TED commercial. Well, I guess we'll just air that. But why would we want to air that? Um, I can just talk for a minute while I get the commercial up and running here, I think. I don't know why it got deleted.
it got deleted. All right. Anyway, we'll be back on Wednesday. I guess I'm just going to have to tell you guys. Um, we are on at Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern on CBSN. If you want to join CBSN, it's really simple. You just go to CBSN and uh, you, you ask to join the group. You have to answer a couple uh, questions and uh, they, they will let you on there. And then in the evening, Kevin will be joining me. We will be doing another show at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And we are looking forward to seeing you guys. So we'll see you then. And Kevin, thank you again for a great show. Good good working thank with you, guys. brother. Always a pleasure. Yes, and, thanks for coming to kick here with us. Absolutely. All right, folks, we'll see you next time. And until that time comes, onward to victory. Peace out, y'all.